In this lesson, we're going to talk about objects, particularly JavaScript objects. JavaScript is what's referred to as an object-oriented language. And this sounds like so much jargon. And all that it really means is that you can manipulate objects. You can make them do things, and you can change their properties. So, for instance, in outside of programming, in the real world, you can have an object that is a cat, or you can have an object that is a bicycle. Both of these are objects. Objects can contain other objects. So what that's called then is properties. So a cat can have a property of fur. Bicycle will have wheels. So that these are properties of these objects. The way this is referred to in JavaScript is what I refer to as dot syntax. You start from the most general, add a period, a dot, and then go for more specific. So with bicycle, you can have the bicycle, and then it has wheels, and then you can pick the front wheel. So you're going from the most general to the most specific. In a similar fashion, a browser window has a title. A form in a browser has fields and a submit button. And those would be seen as document.title and document.form.submit just as an example. This isn't exact syntax, but it's pretty close. So then title is a property of document, submit is a property of form, and form is a property of document. So properties can contain other properties on their own, and all of these are objects. You can use properties to modify objects. So if through JavaScript we change document.title, that will change the title on your web page. Additionally, objects have methods. Methods are things that objects do. So, for instance, you could say cat.per, and then you have, after that, you have parentheses. Parentheses are what tell you at a glance that this is a method. They always need to be there. And when you see that, you know that Purring is something active. It's something happening. In the world of JavaScript, buttons, a button can click. You can have a window open. And these are things that actually happen or that you can make happen with JavaScript. You can think of them to a certain extent as the nouns and the verbs of JavaScript. Properties are the nouns and methods are the verbs. Last thing I want to talk about in this lesson is how anytime you open up a web page, and let's open up a web page. And here's a blank one, which is good. Anytime you open a new web page, you have at least five objects right here. You have a window. The window has a location. You have history, which right now there's nothing in this history. You have a document, and you have an object called navigator that we'll talk about a little bit more later. A window and a document are not necessarily the same thing. If you've ever worked with frames in HTML, you know what I mean, because a window can then contain multiple documents. Now that we've talked a little about objects and properties and methods, I'm going to open a very simple HTML file. And this is about a simple an HTML file as you can get. And I'm going to open it up in a browser, Firefox to be precise, and you can see it says it's a plain page, and it is. But now what I'm going to do is open up the DOM inspector under Tools. The DOM is the Document Object Model. The document is a web page. It's a document. Objects are the things we've been talking about. And model in this context just means it's a way of thinking about things. When people talk about the document object model, 
They just mean it's a way of thinking about things in the browser. So here's a DOM inspector that comes with Firefox, and it's really handy for taking a look at what is actually on the page internally. So over here on the left, we want to see our document, and we're going to take this drop down and say we want to look at it as JavaScript. Okay, there's a single line there, object HTML document. Oh my, that's a lot of stuff. But don't panic about it. It really is just dot syntax and methods and properties, as we were just saying. In fact, here's document.title, just as I was describing a moment ago. And the value of it is page title. When I talked about properties having properties of their own, for instance, this is document. The document has a body, and then the body has children. It really helps to think of this as a tree structure. The body has children of its own, which you can then look at, and here we'll find child nodes of body, and you can see it has text, a paragraph, and some more text. And that's all there is to it. And you can just walk down this tree and find out what the objects are inside your document. Other browsers have various equivalents. I just find the one in Firefox to be handy because it's built in. Um, there's nothing else to download. Although there are add-ons that you can download that make it even cooler. But you can see, for instance, that over here, function insert before has parens, and you can see then that that is a method where you can do something with this object. Now that you can see how the title looks in the DOM inspector, let's go back to our HTML document. Here is our document title in HTML, and you can see again, its title is page title, as it said in the DOM inspector. And as I was, I was talking about when I was discussing dot syntax, here's document.title, which is how we refer to it in JavaScript and how you could see it in the DOM inspector going down the tree. Next, we're going to talk about variables.